Uber Safety has really stepped up. I am on gizmodo.com and as you can see, Uber officially rolls out its new safety toolkit. Going down here, the Ryger company announced today the overhaul of its safety toolkit, which now includes the ability to contact an ADT operator and text 911. The company announced a redesigned version of the pre-existing safety features with a user interface that features two new features. Passengers will now be able to connect with an ADT safety agent for those less critical moments. And the new toolkit also includes the widespread rollout of text to 911, which Uber has been testing in different areas, but now is nationwide. So what's cool about this, if you look here on this picture, when you pull up the safety tab, let's say, God forbid, worst case scenario, something is happening in an Uber, you have a few different options in terms of contacting 911, contacting the safety agent, sharing your trip status, and reporting any safety issue. The biggest thing I like about this is the whole texting 911 aspect. Because as they say here, while calling 911 is always preferred by first responders, texting can be a crucial way for users to request help discreetly. And I think that's the biggest thing, because as you can imagine, let's say something's happening in an Uber, you feel uncomfortable, it could be a very severe issue. If someone calls 911, you're in a sense trapped in the car with that person, you know, it can be very, very tricky. However, texting, as I say here, is way more discreet. I gotta say, I've been loving all these ideas Uber has had. I just did a video about Uber Connect. I just did a video about how you can order an Uber for somebody else and add them to your account as another rider. Uber has been crushing it with these ideas. This may be what, the 10th, 12th video I've done so far this year with all these ideas they're implementing and rolling out. And I think with a lot of issues always happening with both Uber and Lyft, Uber safety and of course Lyft safety are massively important. We hear these stories all the time regarding sexual assault, regarding theft, regarding assault and battery, and a lot more. And yes, I think things have gotten better with Uber and Lyft cracking down a lot more. They've gotten a lot more strict when it comes to their background checks. And all that is very good, but of course, they need to make sure that during the ride, if something goes wrong, if a worst case scenario happens, that the given passenger or the driver has the ability to protect themselves and make sure they can get out of there as safe as possible. And I think this is a great option, especially involving ADT, you know, people who are trained in the entire safety logistics. If let's say you're in a car, something's not going right and you just don't feel comfortable or whatever's happening, you have the ability to text a trained professional to help you through the situation or let's say if it's something more severe, you also have the ability to text 911 now. Amazing features to improve rideshare safety.